Drink this. I want y'all to drink this fucking beer. I want y'all to drink this fucking beer. I'll whisper. No. Well, in the continuing saga of Bud Light, the soggy female penis of Bud Light information, bring in Charles Barkley, boys. The man when I was growing up who was screaming, I ain't a role model, I ain't a role model. Now he is a role model for ingesting that female penis. He loves it, boys. Loves it so much, he demands that you drink Bud Light right now. You drink it. You drink it right now, or you're a transphobe, or a homophobe. Or a bigot phobe, or a racist. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna drink. I'm not gonna drink it. Boy, you guys spend a lot of time and a lot of energy trying to force us to drink this shitty beer. I thought we were a small fringe minority group of racist, bigot, homophobes. Why don't you go after? Oh, I don't know the vast majority. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. It must be because all of this is AstroTurf, all of this is a grift and a scam being perpetrated by a bunch of goofballs like this old lady over here. Why is he looking like that Medea character? Weird. Anyway, Gateway Pundit, yuck. NBA legend Charles Barkley fully embraces Dylan Mulvaney, calls Bud Light critics rednecks uh, and assholes in disgusting bar speech. So... We can attack Red... <laughs> Again, this is just a monumental amount of stupidity. If your beer's so good, just promote it on the beneficial aspects of your beer. But it's not. It's ass. <laughs> right? This beer tastes like shit. And you try to use somebody who is working to normalize... Uh, Let's just call it what it is. It, you, you are trying to reach small children and get them to cut their dicks off. Why would you do that? And so you're putting this uh, this Dylan dude in all of these things. You're trying to force manufacture a consensus around this. And we just said, we ain't assaulting anybody. We're not attacking anybody. Nobody's saying get violent. We're saying the complete opposite. We're saying, let's ignore... Let, you know, I, I don't think we should ignore anymore. Let, let's laugh, and then let's not buy this fucking beer. Let's not shop at this stupid fucking store. We're just not spending money over there. Why is this an issue for you? You don't. You just attacked us. You called us rednecks. You buy this fucking beer, you redneck, racist, Donald Trump supporting maggot fuckers. No, no. Shove that can up your ass sideways. You're probably into it, Charles. While choking on a female dick. Anyhow, if <laughs> he's at this bar in in Lake Tahoe, which is again the Californians, you dumb assholes, can fuck up anything. You have destroyed Lake Tahoe. Once beautiful place, now full of hypodermic needles, AIDS, homeless people in the trees, and uh, this dumb asshole's playing golf over there. And so he goes up. And he gets on stage, and he grabs the mic, he goes, I brought three cases of Bud Light. You drink it. Drink this fucking shit right now. You fucking drink it. You drink it right now. What, are you a redneck? Huh? To all of the gays out there, I love you. To all of the trans community, I love you. If you don't drink this beer, then you're an anti-trans, anti-gay bigot. I hate you. You can't cancel me. I'm sitting there going, no, nobody cares. Nobody cares about any of this. We just don't want to partake in this. We don't want to go along with this. Just, you do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. You can take your shitty beer and you can get dog fuckers to advertise it. Do whatever you want. We're just not going to buy it anymore. And I love how he comes out. Even Bud Light doesn't want to buy Bud Light. This is an ad. This is an ad. Bud Light told him to do this. This guy doesn't like gay people. Go listen to any Charles Barkley game in the 80s. You know what he's calling everybody else? on the opposition's team, or on his own team, if you miss a fucking shot, you know what he's calling them? He using a lot of slurs that I think you might be interested in, gay community, but no, because Bud Light paid him some money to come up here and shill this fucking beer. They gave him three cases, but it's not like you can't find cases of this beer. It's everywhere because nobody's fucking buying it. You drink it right now. You drink it right now. I'm going to buy some drinks for y'all. 
and I'm going to buy Bud Light. And I'm going to tell you something. All you rednecks are assholes who don't want to drink Bud Light. Fuck y'all. Y'all can't cancel me. Oh, we... Oh. The dude regurgitating talking points from all of the Fortune 500 corporations bending over to the rainbow. I'm sorry, who's going to cancel you? You more... Who, why do you feel like you... Oh, you can't cancel. Who's going to cancel you? You are saying all of the state-approved talking points. You are not deviating from any globalist script, and you are in opposition to none of the power structure that's in place right now. Nothing you're saying is threatening any of the power structure. Wrap your head around that. If, if you would say, listen, guys, you know, fuck Bud Light, let's drink something else, then you would be attacked. Then you would be canceled. That's us. You're not on. You're, you ain't no fucking... Steve Austin in this situation? You ain't fighting against the man, prick. No, no, fucking stupid. But anyway, there's this dipshit over here. He wants you to drink not only female penis boys, but he wants to drink some more Bud Light. More power to you. Knock yourself out. But that's... You know, keep calling us rednecks and assholes. That's a fucking... Boy, I'm sorry. Is this a business strategy taken straight out of motherfucking Disney? Buy my product, you fucking terrorists. Okay. No, <laughs> it's fucking stupid. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Support channel. If you want to be kept up to date with this dipshit and the rest of these woke tards, hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.